Merry Christmas everybody! Hi, it's me Isis. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never seen me before. So, hey! Listen, I understand that my YouTube channel is kind of whatever I want to post and that's fine. I embrace that. I have fun doing that. I've covered areas like vlogging, fashion, a whole Sims let's play. One of my favorite things to do both on and off camera is baking and I thought, hey, what better way to celebrate the holidays than to do a holiday treat ideas video because Christmas is coming up on Monday. But there is a bit of a twist you probably saw from the title. All of these are going to be vegan. And one of the ways that I'm pulling this off is by using Earth Chimp. A huge thank you for Earth Chimp to collaborating with me on this and allowing me to participate in their 12 days of chimp miss. If you do not know what Earth Chimp is, it is a vegan protein powder company. They're a smaller business based out of Ireland and they have been so kind as to send me their product. Their protein powder is super versatile which makes it great for things like baking but also you can just add it to a smoothie or shake to have a nice protein supplement that way. They're packed with clean ingredients and for every serving there is one billion yes one billion probiotics there's also no added sugar they are gluten-free non-gmo a great thing to be putting in your body so if you want to learn more about earth champ please check out the link below and if you aren't sold on this now um, you will be by the end of the video so let's get into baking All right, so for our first recipe, we are going to be making something that if you've ever been to a holiday party or on Pinterest or just on the internet, the Santa strawberries, but these are not the regular Santa strawberries. That would be boring. These are vegan and full of protein. The first thing we're going to do, oh my God, we're going to take our unsweetened and plain protein powder. I'll be using this flavor for all of the recipes that I'm making today, just because it's nice and neutral and will go with a lot more, but they do have a vanilla and chocolate one if that's more something that interests you. I'm going to do one tablespoon. We'll just put that in the mixer. You don't have to use the mixer, you can use it by hand. I really like it nice and fluffy, so that's why I'll be using mine. Next, I'm going to be using a container of vegan yogurt. This is coconut yogurt, and this will help really give it some flavor. So it's not just plain whipped cream. And now, I'm gonna get this going, just so we have a nice base and things will start to bind together. And then I'm gonna add this, this is True Whip, it's just like a vegan cool whip thing. A lot of recipes for the Strawberry Santa say to add marshmallow fluff, but it's not vegan, it has egg whites. So then I'm just gonna start tossing it in here until we get the color that we like. Okay. We're gonna turn it to high so it can really start to thicken up now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have whipped cream. That's basically the recipe, but now we're gonna get into the fun part. Take some strawberries, give them a wash, and then slice them. Go ahead and prepare a piping bag with the whipped cream that you just made. We're just gonna take our strawberries and we're just going to fill in the middle like that and repeat this process until you don't have any strawberries left. And when you filled all of them, just go on top and give it a little boop. Just like that, you have a very simple Santa hat snack that you can serve at any party or you can selfishly eat yourself. Why? It tastes good. Okay, for recipe two, we're gonna be doing something that really isn't about sharing is caring and more so I need a little sweet treat for myself. And that is a mug cake. We're gonna be making the reindeer mug cake. So first things first, grab the mug of your choice. It could be a Christmas mug, it could be a boring plain mug, but mine is a pink cat mug. We're just gonna throw everything inside. First thing I'm gonna put in is the equivalent of two egg whites. You can use any egg replacer that you want. I am personally using the Bob's Red Mill blend. Toss those. And then I use my mixer to blend up half of a banana and we'll put that in there. Perfect, let it all slide down. One tablespoon of ground flaxseed. Perfect. And one tablespoon of earth chimp. All right, a cake is forming. One tablespoon of cocoa powder to give it that chocolatey flavor. The whole reason why we would eat it in the first place. And then for sweetness, we're going to be adding a tablespoon of maple syrup. And last thing before we really get into mixing, just add in half a teaspoon of water. Just because with all of these more dry ingredients, it can get kind of tough to mix. And then we mix it all together. Trust the process, picture the reindeer that you're making. Once it's all mixed up, then we're just gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes. And our 
cake is still, wow, look at all the steam coming off of it. So you can just eat it like this, but we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna put it on a plate for decorating. And this is what our mini mug cake for one looks like right out of the mug. But this is pretty boring. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a raspberry and put it right in the middle. And then two dark chocolate chocolate chips, put them on the sides and two pretzels. And just like that, we have an adorable little reindeer cake. recipe yes this is the final one i know i can't believe it we're going to be making protein muffins cupcakes there kind of is a gray area because we're going to decorate them you'll see so just join me on the process with this go ahead and use the milk substitute of your choice i'll be using almond milk for this and we're going to be doing three fourths of a cup in. half a teaspoon of vanilla going right in there and half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar do you want to take a shot because I'm not doing that. One cup of flour and half a cup of sugar. To make sure it rises, we're doing some baking powder. We'll be doing one and a half teaspoons. And a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon, just to give it that little spice flare in there. The equivalent of one egg, again, I'm gonna be using Bob's Red Bull. And lastly, two tablespoons of protein powder. Okay, so the batter's all mixed up now, and I have this and I'm going to put my cupcake liners in there. I'm going for the green ones, kind of festive. <gasps> no, I ran out of the green ones. All right, so we're gonna switch to another color. We'll do green and white, like a spearmint, even though there's nothing minty about this. So now I'll grab a spoon and we're just gonna start pouring. So when you're all done, it should look like this and then go ahead and put it in the oven for 350 for around 20 minutes. And while those are in there, I'm going to switch to moving on to the glaze. Told you it was kind of cupcake, but it's mostly muffin. First thing we're going to do is add one and a half cups of powdered sugar. That will act as the base. A teaspoon of cocoa powder. Again, can you tell that I like chocolate? One last scoop of protein powder. One fourth cup of almond milk. Once again, we'll whisk our chocolate glaze up. <laughs> I'm gonna let the muffins finish baking and cooling and then I'll come back when it's time to decorate. Okay, so the muffins are done. They cooled down. Here they are. Here's our glaze. Here are the sprinkles and we're gonna get decorating now. All we're gonna do with this glaze is since it is quite liquidous, just take the spoon and go back and forth, do a little drizzle motion back and forth and just keep going until you don't have any guys left. I don't even have to coat the whole area because it's not really about the glaze, it's about the sprinkles. Okay, so now all of them have just a little bit of glaze. I'm not even gonna lie, a lot of it went on the side, but that's all right because it's not about that, it's about this. So I'm just gonna go through and put on sprinkles to my liking. I have one of these like variety ones, so we're just trying them all. Guys, these are so cute. Now they're all done, but just like that, we're done. Those are all of the holiday recipes that I will be sharing with you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, thank you so much to Earth Chimp for allowing me to participate in their 12 days of Chimpmas. Please, please, please check them out on Instagram and on Amazon if you're interested in trying their product. It's been a lot of fun getting to do a baking video. You know, this is it's high roll. Be sure to subscribe for more videos that I make in the future, especially since we only have a few more days left of 2023. So you can see me round out the year, but you you can also see me move into 2024. Yeah. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Thank you, Earth Chimp, and I will see you all next time. Have a magical day. Mm -hmm.